My own teaching has reshaped itself many times. I've been at William & Mary since 1994, and I remember focusing at first on providing clear content, focusing on how I present and model information, focusing on finding the best structure and assignments for a class. Somewhere in this process of reflecting on teaching, things began to change. I noticed that I was more drawn to how students receive information than how I present it. More interested in how they understand the subject than how I understand it. Levels of expertise in the classroom can affect communication between students and faculty. Paul Heidemann's research on this helped me solidify what I was experiencing. I needed to witness students making their first connections to material rather than relying on my already established connections to the material I am teaching. Providing assignments to help students name their experiences gives them the opportunity to create the inner scaffolding of knowledge that in the end is more important than the external scaffolding I create to introduce new assignments and new information. Can I redo that? <laughs> Why? I misread it. Um, oh, you can, yeah, go ahead. Okay. We'll just pull it up a little bit. Where do you want it to be? Uh, that's good. Um, I'll, I'll do the scaffolding thing. Okay, great. See. Providing assignments to help students name their experiences gives them the opportunity to create the inner scaffolding of knowledge that in the end is more important than the external scaffolding I create to introduce new information. Students learn to put themselves at the center of their learning. What do I get out of it? I am unburdened from any idea that I could ever make the optimal scaffolding of knowledge for all students. That work is actually the internal work for each individual student. I get to stay curious about what will happen in class, what choices students will make, what emphasis they will bring to the information I'm sharing. In this process, I have the chance to enjoy new perspectives and better understand my students' assumptions about what they're learning. That in turn helps me teach them better. So I'd like to offer a process that can help your students connect more deeply to your coursework. One, provide open-ended questions for students to reflect upon. Two, provide a non-competitive environment for students to share their thoughts. Three, respond to what students offer in ways that help them integrate their perceptions with the themes of the course. So, take a look at the materials in this course work through the questions, experiment with the ideas. Our final step actually involves having real people come together in real life and actually share what we've learned, which is what we want students to be able to do with us. So I look forward to meeting as many of you as possible and, and doing this with you.